Um, it becomes the be-all and end-all of what you're doing. I mean, it's this nice idea that we just sort of uh, waltz in, uh, think up what we're going to do today, sit down over a cup of coffee, write a few papers, maybe do a few experiments. But in fact, uh, in academia, everything is dictated by the diary. Right, I'm looking at what I did last week, um, for which you know we've got already got one clash where I had a tutorial and a lecture scheduled at the same time. Um, I had a meeting, and on the same day, I also had a meeting in Warwick in the afternoon uh, to discuss uh, a big biophysics meeting I'm organising. The previous day, I had uh, tutorials all morning, group meeting as it is every Wednesday lunchtime. And then I was with a company in the afternoon with a new PhD student uh, and the collaborators. Well, it's because we do three things, not one job. Uh, we do research, which is quite of a long-term thing, but also needs to be managed on the short term, such as group meetings, meeting the tutees, maybe even doing experiments ourselves or writing the papers. Then there's the teaching, which is very regimented. So I am doing a lecture now, I'm doing a tutorial now, I'm doing a seminar now, I'm seeing students, they all go then go in the diary around the, the research. And then on top of that is a good layer of administration. You know, admin wants to know this, they want to know that, is this student registered, uh, this student wants to change modules, uh, you know, all the other things that go along with it as well, report writing, and it just then gets slotted in and you sort of have a skeleton that emerges for the week, usually about a month or so ahead, right? And then things just get slotted in and slotted in and slotted in. Um, so at the moment, I've got a lovely, lovely big block here, which simply says Japan, because on Thursday I fly off to Japan for 10 days to do some work out there. And it's ridiculous, really, because I'm actually going to be nine hours out from everybody else, which means I can go and write the papers and do that, while also getting all the collaborations going and uh, visiting uh, various resources out there as well. But then when I come back, already there's a, things are starting to appear back in the diary. <laughs> you suddenly find that uh, virtually every hour or so, especially during term time, has something on. I mean, you could easily grab me this week, um, but it depends really which half hour you half hour you want to grab me for. Because um, at the moment, looking at this, um, Wednesday afternoon, I've only got one very short meeting on. But I know, because that's the day before I go to Japan, that's when I'm going to be... Everybody this week is going, are you free? No, you can only see me then. That afternoon, I know, is going to start to fill up quite rapidly um, with people just saying, can I do this? Can, can you talk to me about this, that and the other? I mean, most of the things uh, are carried out during um, the day. And so it doesn't really impinge into the evenings and hopefully not the weekends, except when hopefully obviously I'm going to Japan. But it's actually quite useful um, for her because she'll say, we need to do this. Um, can you, uh, um, are you free at that time? Um, you know, child, so, sometimes, you know, childcare goes down. People are, you know, sh you know, people are late. Things don't quite sort of match up. Are you free then? Um, uh, and um, it comes incredibly useful. There's one uh, one thing we've got booked out, which is Wednesday morning, which, um, uh, funnily enough, is that after being being together for over 12 years, we've actually got around, to, and having four children, we've actually got around to writing a will. <laughs> and we've got to go and, and, and we've got to go and sign it. So I get an email saying, uh, when are you free? <laughs> so I've got to go and contemplate my mortality.